piano teachers, how you count counts. This is the most important and healthiest habit that you can teach to a piano beginner is how to count out loud so that they, when they are at home they can be their own. I say to my students, if you know how to count out loud when you're studying at home alone, it's like you're becoming the teacher. So your hands is the student, you're being separated into two people. Half of you is the teacher, the one that counts out loud, and the other half is the student that is playing on the piano. So let's be very careful how we teach our students to count. Because if I'm also when I'm tired or when I have a student coming unprepared for the piano lesson for or let's say the fourth or fifth time, this has happened to me. I lose my, uh, how to say, patience and I don't count in a natural way. My counting doesn't have a natural flow or breathing or small accents just to give momentum and to give a little how to say, uh, a little emphasis on the first beat, which is the most important. So my counting instead of that becomes one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, or even worse, if I have to clap it, I clap it in such a almost violent way that it becomes like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then I wonder why my student plays like that. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Or if I just intonate and accent, place an accent only on the one, but the difference is so big with my, the power of my voice, the strength of my voice, the accent, the color of my voice, that it becomes like that. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, or on one and three, or whatever the case may be. Teach your students how to count in a natural way. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The beats have to be alike and we have to be careful of how are we uniting. Even the way we breathe counts. So if I'm gonna, I want my student to have a quality sound, a quality to share and also a good, um, how to say, an organic rhythm, a natural feeling of rhythm, I'm gonna count like this. So, because I'm, I'm going to transfer that energy from my counting to the way my student is going to hear it and then transmit it to their fingers. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So please be careful how you teach your students how to count. Because that's, that is exactly the way that you teach them to count is the way that they're going to produce the sound on the piano with their fingers and how they're going to feel the rhythm. They take this all from you. And these are the first, the most important initial bass habits of a good musician.